Today, students, we are going to learn lesson 2.4 from the English Bal Bharati textbook for Standard 6, Anak Krakatoa. This video was made just for you. Do remember to like, share, and subscribe. You have learned about volcanoes in geography. So now, today, we are going to learn about two volcanoes. One is the Krakatoa volcano and the other is Anak Krakatoa. And why scientists are very happy and they consider it as a laboratory. So come along. Let's learn about this volcano. Anak Krakatoa. Krakatoa is an island in the Sunda Strait between Java and Sumatra in Indonesia. So, Krakatoa is the name of an island and where is this island? In the Sunda Strait. What is a strait? Strait is a passage of water or part of water which connects two bigger water bodies. So, it could be seas, it could be oceans. So, it is the Sunda Strait and uh, this Sunda Strait is between the islands of Java and Sumatra and this is in Indonesia. Indonesia is a country. So, Krakatoa is an island and why is Krakatoa famous? Because it is known for its volcano which erupts regularly. You have learnt about volcanoes in geography, isn't it? So, erupts means burst, burst, okay? So, that is what it regularly erupts. So, therefore, it is, uh, Krakatoa is very famous. People go to, you know, see how it has happened and what is happening to experience the whole thing. Now, let's understand what is a volcano. So, what is a volcano? A volcano is a crack or opening in the earth's crust. We have learnt, isn't it? The earth, the outer layer of the earth is the earth's crust. So, there is a crack or an opening in this particular uh, earth's crust and then what happens is from this crack, there is a hot molten rock near the earth's center. So, the earth's center the, of the earth is very 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 hot okay and even the rocks melt so you can imagine how hot it is so this molten rock is near the center molten means the rock that has melted so it is also called lava when it comes out of the volcano and sometimes it rises to the surface of the earth through such a crack or opening and flows out. So, when the earth, it is so hot, okay, so much of gas forms and so much of pressure is formed underneath that sometimes this particular molten rock tries to push open and so the crack, uh, the earth's crust cracks open and this molten rock comes out of it, okay. So, when if this happens, we say that volcano has erupted. So, whenever this particular um, occurrence happens, so we say that there is a volcano that has erupted. A volcanic eruption happens on a tremendous scale. Now, the volcanic eruption, whenever this occurrence happens, the volcano erupts. It's not on a small scale. It is a huge occurrence, a big occurrence that happens. Now, we'll see what exactly happens when the volcano erupts. Thick, dark clouds of smoke rise from the opening. So, if you look at this picture over here, you will see that there are thick, dark clouds, okay, of smoke. So, it looks like dark clouds and they are, it's of smoke that rise up from an opening. So, normally it is in a mountainous area. So, they start erupting and try to push out. So, these are the, first the, you will see that the smoke comes out uh, from that opening and then, and this spreads into the sky. The smoke spreads into the sky. Later, you will find that big glowing burning chunks of rock and red hot lava are thrown out from the crack in the earth okay so they are big they are glowing glowing means burning okay shining burning chunks of chunks of means huge pieces of rock they are called chunks and red hot lava i told you what is a lava lava is the molten rock the melted rock okay it flows out it is in the liquid form so it starts coming out and it's thrown out so with great pressure it is thrown out of the crack in the earth so it is not a small occurrence it's a great big occurrence that happens and lot of destruction takes place so very hot mud 
and ash. What is ash? When something burns, the grey color part that is left out, okay, the residue. So that is called the ash. So here there is fire, there is hot, it's so hot, okay. So everything burns and turns into ash. So very hot mud and ash are also thrown out. A great volcanic eruption can change the landforms in an area. So what happens? All these things come out and they spread through a large area. So the whole landform changes. The whole, uh, you know, how the land is. Because what happens is close to the volcanic eruption, everything gets destroyed. All living things, plants, animals, human beings, everything gets destroyed. And a layer, layer of this molten rock gets spread out and then it takes many many years and it then solidifies so the whole land form has changed the whole area over there has changed now volcanoes are popularly classified in three categories so there are three types of volcanoes that are present um, and we'll see that one is the act Active volcano. So, active volcanoes erupt regularly. So, this is what has happened in the Krakatawa uh, volcano. So, it is an active volcano. That is, it erupts regularly. Regularly means at, you know, after some years uh, it is dormant, then again it erupts. So, it keeps on erupting. It is, doesn't stop after one eruption. So, it keeps on erupting. So, that is called the active volcano. Then we have the dormant volcano. Dormant means uh, temporarily inactive. So, it is inactive now. It doesn't. It has erupted once and now it has uh, gone off to sleep. It is said. That is, it is inactive. It doesn't erupt anymore. We find information about the eruption of these volcanoes in history but now they are quiet. Quiet means no other eruptions takes place over there. It has erupted long time ago. We don't know if it has erupted more than once, but it has erupted long time ago and now there are no more eruptions over there. So, these are called the dormant volcanoes. Now, let's learn about the third type of volcanoes. Those are the extinct volcanoes, the volcanoes that will never erupt again. Okay, so they are dead, they are gone. Okay, so geographers can guess by looking at the rock formation that they are used they that they used to erupt long long ago so just by looking at the rock formation okay so how the rock has formed that is you know when the uh, volcano erupts there is a lot of hot molten lava that comes out and afterwards it gets cooled down and again the rocks are formed so by just looking at the rock formation okay they the, uh, so the, the geographers have guessed that these had erupted long long ago but there is no record in of it in history. So, we don't have any rock record of it. Maybe, maybe many, many years ago. Okay. And extinct volcano is unlikely to erupt again. So, they have, you know, found out that this particular uh, volcano will never ever erupt. So, they have done a lot of research about it and found out that these volcanoes which will not erupt again are termed as extinct volcanoes. Now, let's learn about the Krakatawa volcano which uh, on which this lesson is based on. Okay. Now, Krakatawa is an active volcano. That is, it keeps erupting. Okay. And it has erupted many times causing great disasters. That is, it has caused tremendous damage. Hmm? So, it has erupted many times and each time there are lots of damage and destruction that happens. Now, the worst of the eruptions took place in August 1883. So, when it burst or, and erupted in 1883, it was the worst damage that it de did. Now, let's see what happened exactly. The volcano erupted with such a loud boom that it was heard more than 3,500 kilometers away in Australia. So, we know that when the volcano erupts, there is a lot of smoke, dust, hot molten lava and when it erupts, there is a huge sound. But when this particular, uh, you know, in August 1883, when it erupted, the sound was so loud that it could be heard 3,500 kilometers away. So, you can imagine this loud sound of it. Okay. Now, it is believed to be the loudest sound that man has ever heard. So, ever, ever heard. Okay. Such a loud sound. 
the island which was a volcanic mountain collapsed on itself so the whole island collapsed okay so the volcanic mountain where it erupted the whole island collapsed into the sea collapsed means to go crashing down okay so it collapsed uh, the whole island collapsed okay and the dust that was thrown up in the eruption rose to about 80 kilometers in the sky rose means to rise up 80 kilometers so you can imagine you can you have you travel isn't it so from your home to your school so you know how what is the distance from your home to your school so it could be maybe 1 or 2 kilometers maximum okay because we travel within the area where we live so but this the dust went right high 80 kilometers high into the sky so it was such a big volcanic eruption and it spread in the sky around the world okay so it started giving out this smoke and dust and all and the dust spread around the world and later settled in different parts of the world thousands of kilometers away so this dust particle spread so high and so far and wide that it was later on it settled thousands of kilometers away so you can just you know close your eyes and imagine what a massive volcanic eruption it must have been now let's see what are the damage this particular uh, eruption volcanic eruption did now the eruption caused giant waves or tsunami in the sea near the island now we know that what happened is the whole island crashed into collapse into the sea and because of that there were giant waves so these giant waves are called tsunamis in the sea near the island and about 165 villages and towns were destroyed due to the eruption and the tsunamis so so many people lost their lives as well as 165 villages and towns were destroyed totally because of this and the eruption destroyed two thirds of the island of krakatoa so two thirds so nearly see two third if you divide the island into three parts two parts of those three parts were totally destroyed it collapsed beneath the surface of the sea okay we know that the whole island part of the island two thirds part of the island went inside crashed into the sea creating a huge underwater volcanic crater or hole crater means a huge big hole that is formed because this whole island crashed no into the sea so there was a huge hole formed over there and this hole the hole was more than 6 kilometers wide so such a big hole you to check your answers to all the textual questions and for the summary meanings other question answers and for free worksheets visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com you'll get the link in the description box below do remember to like share and subscribe this is end of part 1 for a complete lesson do watch part 1 and 2 you'll get the link in the description box below